Welcome back to the road to tax reform with Christmas just over a week away. Wow, a week away. Republicans are finalizing legislation by this Friday. President Trump will give his closing arguments this afternoon. Earlier in the program, I spoke with White House Director of Legislative Affairs, Mark Short, on what we can expect to hear from the president. I think you're going to hear the president make the case that this is historic tax uh, reform, that this is, is a once-in-a-generation opportunity, as Speaker Ryan just said, that uh, we also hope to have this bill on the president's desk before Christmas. And we think that uh, where they are in negotiations, they worked late last night between the House and the Senate, and we hope that uh, even by before the end of today, we'll have an announcement to make on a final deal. Joining us right now is Steve Howe. He is EY, U.S. Chairman, America's Managing Partner. Steve, it's good to see you. Thanks, Maria. Thank good so to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. So wh great. what's your take on this? They're talking about the corporate rate going to 21 percent, talking about the top rate on individuals going to 37 percent, and then, of course, there's the pass-through and small business tax. Y your take on that? Well, first of all, I think it's going to happen, and I think it'll be good for business, uh, and I think it'll happen before Christmas. Some of these things are still moving, and then they score it. So that's why I think you're now seeing the rate come up a little bit, probably going to happen. There's issues like state and local tax still being debated, the pass-through rate. Uh, we're not going to get it as a large professional services partnership, but smaller businesses will end up okay. And uh, I think interest also is still moving around, deductibility. You, you hit on something Dagan's been talking about, actually. You're not going to get it. So what your rate is going to be the individual rate, the top, the top rate? Right, yeah. So as a large partnership, professional services, we will not get the pass-through. So what one issue we've been talking about, Dagan, is the complication of that. Who's getting what and whether or not those phase out. Right, exactly. Because, again, Mark Short said that that Wall Street Journal article about some could have marginal rates that top 100 percent, literally paying $108 on $100 in income above a certain level. But it's, it's not misleading if the math bears that out. This is the complexity that's been written into some of these laws. And I don't think these lawmakers and some representatives understand the implications of how they write these laws, because particularly with the pass-through entities, there is complexity, at least in the original Senate bill, about how that deduction for pass-throughs phases out. And a lot of, of doctors, architects, engineers, other professional services providers, accounting firms, law firms are not going to or will be ultimately, it looks like, excluded from getting that pass-through deduction. So they'll get the 37 percent rate. They'd be taxed at, as an individual at the, rates, yeah, at right? Individual yeah. rate. But uh, we'll hope that business improves, because I do think business is going to improve. That's the big picture here. Uh, I think the American business needs to be more competitive. The rate's going to get better, the territorial system. So while we don't get the attractive rate, I think we do think we're going to participate in a better economy. Steve, EY had another fantastic year. Congratulations on, uh, on your performance. Where do you see the momentum from 2017 carrying into 18? You're in the you're in the C-suites almost every day. And what, what are you hearing from the CEOs about where's the hot spots in the economy? Where, where does this growth continue? Well, I think it has been a pretty good economy. And I think it's going to get better. Tax reform is one. Uh, I think there's pretty good balance globally, yeah. better balance in the global macro economy than we've seen. I think the deal market we're still, it's been held back a little bit. And so if uncertainty can get behind us, I think we're going to see better deals and bigger deals. Well, how about the forward. rollback in regulation? That has to be big. I mean, are you actually seeing CEOs open the purse strings and start investing again? I think because it's of the rollback. starting to happen. And there's still significant transformation, um, technology and change. And so companies are working through that. And I think we're going to, see, I, I think we'll see an economy that's up a point half tax reform, half regulatory reform, it's going to help the market. Well, yeah, we saw actually going back to the Obama administration, we saw Dodd-Frank actually unleashed 22,000 pages of rules and regulations, and the financial industry was completely held back. Now, looking into the market and going forward, they're going to get a big reprieve from tax cuts on the corporate rate because they invest here in the United States. We've seen companies here in the United States be at a disadvantage because their brethren overseas, whether it's in Ireland, Luxembourg, any where else have been at a disadvantage. What industries do you see also benefiting from this other than the financial space? I think all industries benefit from this tax reform. And one thing people aren't talking enough about is I think companies are going to look to invest more in the United States. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now it's back. It's going to be back on the map for a lot of global companies. Well, look, Bob just congratulated you. Uh, you got some big news for us this morning. Congratulations. You're a statesman in this business and you're passing the baton. That's right. Thank you. Um, so I have, uh, I'm in my third 
third, fourth year term, 12 years at the helm here, and uh, passing it along to Kelly Greer, who is just a fantastic emerging leader for EY. So I'll be working closely with her. She'll take the reins next summer. And uh, EY is going to be in great shape under Kelly. So she, she's been appointed EY U.S. Chairman and Managing Partner Elect, and you, uh, e, EY America's Managing Partner Elect. W what is she? Uh, in, nice to see a woman in, yeah. in charge, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I yes, like that. Thank you. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah, first for us, which is great, but not because she's a woman, she's the best candidate, and uh, we're excited about it. So elect because my term is up at the end of June. Uh, she right now runs our central region out of Chicago, doing a fantastic job. Yeah. That's great. So is she going to have to come to a higher tax state here? Is she going to be worried about something? Well, she may be watching the days she spends in New York, but she'll be here for sure. By the way, I think a lot of people are right now with this elimination yeah. of the deduction. Steve, it's great to see you. Great to Congrats see you. Congrats and thanks so much. Thank You've been you, a friend Maria. of the program for a long time. Steve Howe, uh, all the best to you.